everyone and I have a book review today I just finished Dark Dream by Christine Feehan as part of this uh, duology thingy that she shares with uh, Marjorie M. Lou Lou I don't know how to pronounce her last name but yeah I <sighs> I wanted to finish it today, during the day, but I just was so tired today. Like, I slept in, yeah, I have, I had a shower, so I've got a bunch of hair around me. Yeah, so I slept in, and I, like, slept in a lot. I was going to get up for, oh, oh, what time would I want to get up for? Nine? Nine? Yeah, about nine. Then I just slept in until, like, noon. Oh, yeah. And then I had like another like basically a two hour nap after I had my dinner and I've got a slight headache. Earlier this morning, like when I woke up, I had a congestion headache so I flushed my nose and now I still have a headache but I took a pill so hopefully that'll help. But yeah, all I did was really sleep. I was lazy today. I was really lazy trying to finish the last chapter. And also, seeing, being as it was the last chapter, I wanted to finish it today so that I wasn't, like, waiting to read a book yet tomorrow to, you know, yeah. So I just finished it. Now to get on to the actual story, because that's my whole explanation is why it is 9.36 at night when it's my bedtime. I should be going to bed and I've got a lovely light continuing my headache so yeah anyway. this it was a good it was a good story it's very short just 10 chapters whereas most of the other ones are like 18 chapters and have more substantial in them whereas this literally was in the span of like two days two maybe pushing it three days but it was two days because there was only one time where they like they like actually well we had a full day, and then it got to like, it was night, and then pushing it on till morning, which is where he slept, and then yeah, about two, like maybe three days span, and then there was a break in chapter ten where it skipped, I think maybe maybe a few days, maybe another day, just to you know have a happier ending. I don't always enjoy books like that, but with this. I kind of understand and I didn't have such a huge problem because the way, like, they already tech, well, technically Falcon was already in love with his life and they automatically was going to, no matter what, he, all our males are automatically in love and just whatever for their, for their life mate, but our life mates tend to, you know, be human and not, you know, know about them and oh my god I hate the underside of my hair because it's all ripply like this and oh such a weird texture on it but anyway Sarah and I'm I am gonna do a spoil but I can't give my review unless I tell this when she was 15 her parents took her and her brother on this trip and I don't uh, I there might have been a reason but I think it was just like she wanted to go but there might have been like a weird pull. It's like, you need to go here. There's something here for you. And so she finds this book and basically it's Falcon writing to his life mate. He doesn't, I'm pretty sure, he doesn't know her name. But because of Sarah's psychic power, so like whenever she touches something old, she gets uh, the history behind it and find and sees like whoever's touched it and what it's been through and all that such. So she basically touches this journal, finds out it was this man, wrote it for his life mate, and then basically because I don't, I really don't understand the chemistry of how she, how it happened, but basically she, like something inside her was like, this is my life mate. This is the man that I was supposed to be with but I was born too late and he died and stuff like that and so somehow he becomes entrenched in her dreams and whatever 
So she technically was already madly in love with this man. Yet, when she comes to find out, you know, he's a Carpathian, it's like a little bit of shock. But she actually quickly recovers and is like, all right, I totally trust you and I love you. And like all that stuff. So it's weird. It's very weird. And that was my, 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 one of the only real downfalls of like how I enjoy stuff. I don't, depending on the insta love, which is a big trope in the world, you know, sometimes it can be good, which in this case of the book it is, but sometimes it can be bad. It was good. It was, oh, what's the word? Executed very well and how, you know, fell in love and whatnot, but it still weirded me out because it was like literally right away it was like, oh my god, I'm in love with you and I trust you and blah blah blah. Whereas, you know, with other insta loves it takes maybe like, no, yes, yes, I am, I am in love with you, but I'm literally not going to tell you in the same day, like, I'm in love with you and I want to be with you forever. It takes maybe like a day or it's like, Maybe like, I am in love with you, and it takes, you know, a good long while to actually physically say to said opposite person, I am in love with you, and I want to be with you, and blah blah blah. Now, as, blah, blah, blah. as I hope I said, I did enjoy this book, and I enjoyed how these two came together, and how it is basically an insta-love, but... Actually, for the past 15 years, so 15... She's 30? Wow, she's 30. Excuse me, whatever. So, it's been 15 years since she found the book, and she's been running for her life, and that's an actually pretty interesting concept of her being able to run away from a vampire for 15 years, which is cool. But she's basically in love with this mystery man that she basically thought was dead for 15 years. And then, you know, to find... It's a very interesting concept. And... I do like how they, you know, when they did come together and be like, yes, you're my life mate, and I love you, and I'm human, but I accept this thing wholeheartedly. Yeah. Now, as individual people, Falcon is an interesting character. He's probably the first of all the Carpathian males to be really accepting of like Sarah you know defending herself and fighting off vampires and the ancient vampire that's been chasing after her for so long and you know taking care of herself and he's very proud and he's very like humbled and like yeah Granted, yes, he, you know, he's a Carpathian male, so he's like, oh my god, why have you not been protected? And all that such. But he keeps that down, he keeps that tampered, because, as I, as I just said before, he is, like, so proud of his life mate and the way she took care of herself, and she, you know, kept herself from vampire and defended herself, and also defending... A bunch of children that she has come to care for very much and just yeah I I I like I appreciated Falcon a lot more than I have a lot of the these other males granted yes I do have love for certain ones but Falcon just you know when Sarah wants to you know do something Falcon is not exact, doesn't exactly, you know, put down the law and say, no, you can't do that, no, you have to stay home, blah, 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 blah. He talks it through with her, gets a good under, I think, and, like, gets a good understanding of, like, why she's doing this and all that. And, you know, maybe reluctant to let her do it, but let her do it in the end, so long as she's safe and whatnot. And I appreciate that about Falcon, and he is like an ancient ancient. He's older than, I'm guessing, Mikhail, because Falcon was part of Mikhail's father's, which is Vladimir, part of his, like, um, um, men and warriors and that sort of term. 
Yeah, forgot the tra train of thought I was going with that. So let's move on to Sarah. Sarah is very different from the other females that I've read. Like the more stronger personalities and the more I'm going to be, I'm going to be in this fight with you. I can help. I can help like distract him. I can, you know, um, I, I, I can defend myself. I, I know how to, to hit and fight and whatnot. And I've got 19% battery, which is lovely. Anyway, I like that about her character. She also has very short, spiky hair. Well, maybe not super short, but it's said in the book, like, she runs her hand, her hand through her hair, and it just goes up and curls and, like, and just messes up. So, she's got short hair, and she's the first one that has short hair in this entire series of females, per se. All the males have, like, long hair. Sometimes they're just, like, shoulder-length hair. Others are, like, really long, like, maybe, like, to, like, where the, like, I was gonna say under my boobs, but, like, to the the bottom side of a shoulder, your shoulder blades, all that such. She's still a white, a whitey, Caucasian. I think there is actually a, you know, uh, African American, I think, according to, you know, the little mini book trailers that they're up on the website, which obviously link down below and I'm actually going to link the playlist for all the Christine Fee handbooks that the Circle of Seven production does their YouTube channel like that specific playlist thing I have it linked down below and I am I I enjoy your personality though the because she basically like is insta loving Falcon. It, 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 it's a little unnerving for me, but I also understand that literally she found this book and has felt this tie to this man and understands that she was to be his life mate, but she was born too late and all that such. So she, I can understand how she is in love with him and how she knows him and has, you know, why she is so invested in him. Mm, yeah. I think that's all. Oh, and like, I do like how, like, warrior she is. Like, she's very independent. She, if she wants to do something, thump, if she wants to do something, she'll do it. And she's very protective of, about children that are orphaned and somewhat on the street. And she wants to take care of children like that because she was basically orphaned. And she eventually finds this group of children that actually has, like, psychic powers. Which is actually pretty cool that she found a group of children in the one city and it's like... How rare is that? It's enjoyable. And, like... It is stretched, a very stretched out three days. I... The story itself is very interesting and in how, you know... Literally, she's like very accepting it. like, yes, turn me into what you are and all that. And how, you know, the ancient that's been chasing after her gets very angry and yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really have a whole lot because this is very short and it's not really what I'm into. Like very short stories where it's like basically insta love and all that. If it's if it is like a short story, but they've they're all read they were like maybe exes or like they already had previous feelings for each other and it's like known in the story, then I kind of for can forgive it. Sim similar to what this story was, but they literally he Falcon didn't know about her, just knew about his about his life mate and wanted to make sure all his feelings were put down for her. And Falcon read the book and basically understood that she was his life mate and all that such. But it's through a book. It's not that they knew each other previously and it's been a few years and, you know, they kind of have grown up. They've matured and they want to be with each other again and... Yeah. But, for recommending... I did enjoy this book, as I have said before. It's quite enjoyable. It was interesting. And I like the fact of, you know, this whole very ancient vampire from Mikhail's father's age and 
all that. It was very, it was very enjoyable, and I would recommend you read it. You don't have, I, so, I, I need to read the next book, sub subsequent books, but I don't really think you need to read this. I don't think it's very prevalent to if you need to read it part of the series, but you can, especially if you like, you're gonna read everything, every single book in the series. This is considered a 0.5 book. It's not a, a full number, but it's good. It, and also if you just wanna read like, I don't know, maybe a taste of like the dark world, Carpathians, like, it's 10 chapters, it's very short. You could probably read it in a day more, more than definitely. I just tend to take long because other things like take up my time. Yeah. And now since I'm done this, I'm gonna put this on the shelf with the L's because I will read, I'll read the title, A Dream of Stone and Shadow when I get to the L's because yes. And on my Goodreads I can't exactly put like the finish date on it because it'll mess it up. So I will mark it in like the little comment thingy of, you know, the exact date and start and finish of them. <sighs> and since I haven't gotten a call about my interlibrary loan, and I don't think it's been four weeks because it says it's going to take four weeks for it to arrive at my library. So I'm going to start my next book, which is another one of my books. And yes, this is a a full book. It's not a half book. This is a full book. It should be eight chapter, eighteen chapters. So yeah, Dark Legend by Christine Behan. I'm gonna read the back. They were masters of the darkness, searching through eternity for a mistress of light. It says Gabriel. Now the name Gabriel is significant to me, but I will read the back and then maybe you, I don't think you'll you'll get the significance but for those of you who have read the series or read this book in general you should maybe know he woke deep within the ground and the first sensation he felt was hunger an overwhelming hunger for blood that demanded satisfaction but as he hunted the dark streets of Paris for prey a voice called to him soothing calming giving him the strength to control his craving Francesca I believe that's how it's pronounced, Francesca Del Ponce, was a healer, a woman who radiated goodness as powerfully as the sun did light. But surely his obsession for her would turn him as his twin brother had turned, leaving the world with two monsters instead of one. Though he knew she would be like hot silk in his arms, though he knew the taste of her would be addictive, he feared for her life and his soul if he took her. Then, with one mind-shattering vow, she gave herself. I offer freely without reservation. I offer my life for yours, as is my right. And with a firestorm of longing, of long-forgotten feelings, he glimpsed salvation. Oh, this is interesting. Not what I was expecting, but this should be good. Mmm, hmm. there's this. I want you. <laughs> She turned her head to study the glittering of his eyes. Dark, dangerous. That was Gabriel, a legend come to life. He reached out, caught her wrist, and drew her to him. I want you, all over again. He said it starkly, without embellishment. He brought her hand to his trousers, but the material was gone, sliding from his body in the way of their people, so that her palm contracted the hot... All right, that's a weird ter word to use. Contracted the hard, thick length of him. Undressed for me in the manner of humans, he said suddenly. His eyes had gone very black, burning with such intensity that she could feel tiny tongues of flames along her skin. There is something very erotic in the way a woman removes her clothes. Her eyebrows shut up. I thought there was something erotic in the way your clothes melted away and left me to explore where I wanted. Her voice seized him. It was sultry with inv in with invite with invitation. She stepped away from him, her arms dropping slowly to her side, her fingers brushing the hard length of him as she did so. Francesca, 
tilted her head so that her long hair slid in, slid in a silky black curtain over her shoulder. Her hands went to the small pearl buttons on her sweater. She eased each through its buttonhole so that the edges began to gape open to reveal the satin swell of her breast. All right, so I can't read. <laughs> I can't really read aloud, that is, or speak, apparently. So I've got 5%. Let's hurry this up. All right, we got a, one chapter. Hmm. A teaser for another book in there. Ah, 18 chapters. All right, so this is my next book right now. I don't know if I have my interlibrary loan. I do need to check my email when they sent me it so that I know how many, how, how, how long it's been because they would have emailed me right away if they didn't have the book that I was looking for. So yeah, my next book. And this is the end of my book review. <laughs> that was just weird. But anyway, yeah, it's time to finish. I hope you liked it. I know it was a little difficult because, well, short books like that, especially when the romance is basically insta and it's only literally three days, it's a little annoying. But as I said, it was good and I hope you enjoyed it. My review of it, that is. And, uh, oh, if you did enjoy my video, please hit that like button down there. And if you've read Dark Dream, please let me know how you liked it in the comments below. And also if you've read any other dark Carpathian Christine Feehan novels, let me know in the comments below. Just don't be nasty because we do not need that in the world, okay? We don't. And we don't need people being mean about adult romance books or smut books, as some people call them. And I've got a heat thing going on. Let's just hopefully try to finish this up. Uh, and if this is the first time you're watching my videos, please hit that big red subscribe button down there by my picture for more book reviews, hauls, Let's place unboxing, unbagging, because something's coming a bubble right now, envelope, or a plastic bag wrap thingy. I totally messed it up. Vlogmas, random vlogs, and random, random videos. I have no idea where to categorize. We're, I gotta get going, because I gotta get to bed. You're getting hot. And yeah, I gotta go to bed. Good night, everyone.